As you just heard, tick season has started, and with it comes the danger for tick-borne disease. 22 News reporter Nick Oresco is at our Hampshire County Bureau to explain how you can protect yourself and your family. Ah, well, tis the season for ticks, and now is the time to check you, your kids, and your pets. As temperatures continue to rise, more people will be wearing shorts and flip-flops. But those clothes offer less protection from a summer pest no one wants to deal with, ticks. I, I found them on, all over me, on my butt, on my chest, on my arms, you know, like down in my gut. I mean, I've had five to eight of them, I think, I had on me. And with ticks comes the risk for Lyme disease. Dr. Jonathan Schwab of Northampton Pediatrics is all too familiar with tick season. He sees dozens of patients come in with concerns. We see parents coming in whose children have had tick bites and wondering what they should be looking out for to see if they might have developed Lyme disease. The chances that you might get Lyme disease from a single tick bite depend on the type of tick and how long it was attached to you. Lyme disease causes a rash, often in a bullseye pattern. It causes flu-like symptoms, joint pain, and weakness. Most people with Lyme disease recover completely with appropriate antibiotic treatment, but for those who develop syndromes after their infection is treated, you should go back to the doctor. Now these are the areas you're going to want to avoid this summer, wooded edges with tall grass. Of course, if you do go near these areas, you're going to want to make sure you wear long sleeves and long pants. The most common places ticks can hide are under the arms, in and around the ears, and in your hair. The best practice if you are outside, check your body for ticks. And of course, you're also going to want to check your pets for ticks. And while we were shooting this story today, my photographer actually found two ticks on him. So it just goes to show that those ticks are out there. We're live at our Hampshire County Bureau in Northampton this evening. Nick Oresco, 22 News.